Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam Free or Itch.io Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. As required by G2 Law, we must inform that this therapy may contain aspects that certain patients may find uncomfortable. Jump scares, loud noises, disturbing images, implied violence, cartoon gore. But we can all use a little bit of therapy. What's that about say? Therapy with the... Oh, we'll look at that once we beat it. As always, um... I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to check it out for yourself, get your own therapy, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate that. Alright, here we go. Ellie E. Taylor Lee. Dr. Kruger, Kruger is waiting for you at room 1015. Freddy Kruger. Huh? Wait a second. Oh wait, I'm a female. Okay. I am Taylor Lee. Oh, oh, oh. He looks like a metaton. Like for real. <laughs> where where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health Solution Corporations. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical groups in the G2 district. Delivering more than one million patients visits each year. I am Dr. Albert Jared Kruger, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. What? I'm not sick. What the hell is a dream therapy? Oh man, his name's Kruger and he's gonna give me dream therapy? That's awesome, I'm ready. That sounds like such a scam. Do not be afraid, my child. I'll have you know that I am a professional, and I have a PhD in marine biology, which makes me specialize in dream therapy. <laughs> Do I look like a dolphin to you? Yes. Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. What is your name, my child? Taylor hey, Lee. Age? 19. Preferred pronouns? They, them. What brings you here today and what are your symptoms? I don't know. <laughs> I said I'm not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with the sanity check? You enjoy math, Taylor? Not particularly. Perfect. Well, let's start with some simple math. What a dick. Okay, dude. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question, and you'll need to choose the correct answer from the four cards I provide you. Does that sound good? Whatever. All right, let's get started. I'm plus seven. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Excellent job! Wow, amazing! Excellent job! Impressive! That goes a really hard one soon, I bet. Impressive! Am I supposed to miss these? Why do we keep... I can't believe it! Nicely done! <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm the best of this. Trabian! Trabian! Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Oh, hey. I even placed it. Oops, my apologies. How'd that get in there? What the hell? Was that blood? No, it wasn't. That most definitely was. No, it wasn't. <laughs> now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. Excellent job! Wonderful job, Taylor! You got all of them correct, and we're out of non-blood cards. His head just rolled it, <laughs> yeeted out of here. You must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. Why don't we take a short little break? Um, sure. Let me turn up the music, please don't. Oh my god, it's... Why would you do that? Much better! How did he turn up the music? I didn't give you permission to do that. Freddy. So, how's it going? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything alright? Uh, I'm a bit confused, but otherwise all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. You a college student? Yeah. Sweet, are you from <laughs> G2? Yeah, I've been living here my whole life. What about you? You from around here as well? I can't hear anything. Yes, I was born in G2. 
However, I did not attend college here. I went to G4 for my post-secondary education. Oh, RMU? Yes, RMU. That's a pretty dope school. Thank you. Turn down the music, dick! Please! Have mercy! Da 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 da. Awkward. Alright, break's over. Let's move on to the next session of our therapy, will we? Shall we? Seems like the music went back down. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. For this section, we're gonna play a game. I wanna play a game. A very classic one. It is called the Shell Game. Oh, I'm freaking baller at this. Have you heard of that? The Shell Game? No, not really. Oh, buckle up. I'm a Shell Game Master. It is more commonly known as Cups and Balls. Is it? Is it known as Cups and Balls? Oh, that. I suck at that game. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Um, whatever you say. Love the enthusiasm. As you can see, I have three cups over here. And in one of them, I will be placing a... Da 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 da. Hmm. Pardon me, but it seems we don't have any balls here. <laughs> Let me go get one. Escape! Time to escape! Run! Run, Lee Taylor, run! Just what in the hell's going on? I don't know. I absolutely have no idea except for Mr. Freddy Krueger here trying to get to our train. How do you get balls from a woman? <laughs> what? Well, what? What the fuck was that? What's up, fam? Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. Are we already in the dream world? What the hell happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? The scream. What scream? This is a waste of time. Shall we proceed with the therapy? As you can see, I have three cups over here. Oh. And one of them, I will be placing a ball under it. What the fuck, man? That's not a ball. That's a freaking eyeball. An eyeball is a ball. It is a sphere. You know that's not what I meant. Where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Why would you use that for cup and balls? This is messed up. Actually, according to the contract, we are free to use it however we want. Jesus fucking Christ. Any other inquiries? You know, the faster we finish this section, the sooner I can put it back. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I will be shifting these those three cups around. And you will tell me which one you think has the ball. Is that clear? Yes, I know how the game works. Perfect, here we go. Wow, amazing! Trabian, Trabian. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Excellent job. Impressive. Got the quicker. Oh, what the f Ooh, baby. Oh, he got me that one up. <laughs> Just try a little harder. Next time you'll get it. The correct answer is. Oh, I thought it would have been that one if it wasn't that one. Ta da! Good job, Taylor. You managed to spot most of them. Damn, he got me on that last one. He got me good. Let's take another break, shall we? Sure. Um. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. Please don't. Please don't. No! Got it! And his phone's annoying too. Pardon me. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? Is that freaking the squirrel? What's that squirrel thing called from back in the day? Hmm, is that so? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan, am I correct? I don't think so. No, William, we are not killing it. I'd prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving into that. Now, please, excuse me, I'm with a patient at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, Taylor. 
I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Uh, okay, that's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger, right? That is correct. Just kind of curious, does that mean you're the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Cor Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created the company, Freddy Krueger. All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes, it is part of my destiny. I... I see. But damn, I gotta say, I'm pretty honored to receive therapy from the CEO himself. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm just simply doing what I enjoy doing. And not to mention, I enjoy talking to you very much. Um, I'm glad. I say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Eh, sure. This section is a bit different. It is not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you a little better. Or as how I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. The gateway to my heart? Yes, I will be asking you a series of questions and I'd like you to answer them honestly. Huh? What kind of questions? All kinds of questions. Questions that are about you. Nah, I'll pass. It is an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know. I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Hmm, well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you, I'll tell you something about me in return. Hmm, that's tempting. But how do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is extremely important between a patient and their therapist. It is essential for the work to go as far as it needs to. Okay, fine, whatever. Excellent! However, I do have one request. You'll have to close your eyes for this section. And no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes till I tell you to do so. Can I trust you on that? No. Ah, oh, this is a trap. We're about to get bamboozled. Like this? Yes, perfect. My first question is... What was it like growing up in your family? Hmm, nothing extraordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunities. I had two siblings, and we used to li all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes I it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole it was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both of my parents were well-known figures in the medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from yours is, I was the only child. I... I see. Did I open my eyes? Yes. Uh-oh. Why did you open your eyes, Taylor? Okay. My second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Hmm. Well... Is there like a auto save or something? No, there's not a save. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not very popular in schools, but I do have a few good friends I'm, that I feel deeply connected to, and my family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That's good. It is important to have friends and family that support you. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? Of course. I feel deeply connected to all my patients. They all mean a lot to me. What was that noise? I guess that's very professional of you. What the hell were all those noises? Did I open my eyes? Yes. What are you doing? Is there anything wrong, Taylor? No, nothing. I'll catch you yet. Next question. If you could wave a magic wand, what positive changes would you make happen in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. It is always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? Hmm. I guess the world could have less mediocre people. 
Excuse me? I'm just joking. Haha. <laughs> I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Something feels off. What is this weird guitar sound? Yes. Oh, what was this? Hey. Hey. Now. What the fuck was that? Taylor, I would kindly ask you to refrain from using such words. No, but what the actual fuck was that thing? I unfortunately have no clue what you're referring to. It seems to me that you could be overstressed and thus had some form of hallucination. No, I swear to God. Do me a favor, will you, Taylor? Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. No. You just can't with this dude, huh? Uh-oh. The last question. Have you ever had the urge to murder someone in your life? Or maybe dismember them, chop them into pieces, and make them into a hamburger? Ex excuse me? <laughs> of course not. This is messed up. Ha have, have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no. Hot dogs only. That's... that's not... Don't just breathing at me. I'm feeling really uneasy. Should I open my eyes? Yes. Oh, Satan! We'll be right back. Oh, those are the things from The Simpsons. Magic. My apologies, Taylor. I was getting too excited to hear your answers that I came a bit too close. To what? I would call that a bit too close, but whatever. Shall we take another short break? Let me make the music louder. God dang it. Why? What is that noise? Um, do you hear that? What the hell is that? I'm the best. Oh, my apologies for such an unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now, if you would excuse me, I will go handle that. Why don't you watch some videos in the meantime? Um, okay. I'll put on some videos. Albert? Yes? Please don't kill him. <laughs> of course I won't. Who do you think I am? I'll be back soon. We'll be right back after this brief message. Kugel Corporation! Stress. It's something many of us deal with on a daily basis. Yet something few seem to have mastery over. That's why we're working hard at Kruger, developing life-changing treatments and revolutionary dream therapy, allowing our patients to tackle their stress in ways the world has not seen before. So what are you waiting for? In today's increasingly difficult wow. market, what better thing to invest in than yourself? Huh. Oh, what's up, guys? Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was, a uh, a pretty cool commercial. Thank you. In fact, it is a bit out of date. I plan to update it soon. Um, I see. Did things get resolved with that dude? Yes, resolved peacefully. That's, that's good. Are we ready for the next round of therapy? Yes, sure. This section is going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Have you by any chance heard of the Rorschach test, Taylor? The Rorschach test? Isn't that the thing where they show you a picture and ask you what you see? That is correct. It is a psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder and examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning. So for this section, I will be showing you a series of ink blots, and you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? Yeah, crystal clear. Alright, here we go. Quite the imagination. Uh, that is a lobster. Is that what you see? That's the devil. Maybe that's a butterfly. Interesting choice. 
I don't know what that is. Not a human. Leaf. Light the imagination. That's. I suck at these. A lot. Hmm, okay. Oh, that's a face. Murder, interesting choice. Oh, psycho. Is that what you see? Oh, this is getting worse. Ah, <laughs> they all different. Slaughter, interesting choice. Regret, interesting, very interesting. Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. Well done, Taylor. Well done. I am so proud of you. I hate to say this, but we're cl getting close to the end of our therapy. I just want to say I really enjoyed speaking with you. And I really appreciate that you chose Kruger Corporation. But I didn't choose you guys. Um, I actually didn't, but no worries. It was also a very interesting, a very interesting session for me. I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. That means a lot to me. May I ask you what's your favorite section of the therapy? Favorite section? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm so glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? That would mean a lot to me. Sure. Probably not. Oh, well. Alright. Thanks a lot. That was a big help. Before I let you go, can I have one last request? No. Sure, what is it? Will you sacrifice yourself for the G2 district? Huh? Huh? We need you for building a better future of G2 district. We need you to feed the hungry people of the G2 district. G2 is our hometown. We need to make G2 better. What do you mean, feed the hungry people? My children have been starving. They will be grateful to you forever. Oh, Satan, please. Oh, did he kill me? Thank you for your contribution to G2 district. Bad end. There's a good end? God dang it. A game by Dino999Z. Oh god, I'm gonna have to play this to try to get the other innings. Other contributors. Harmless Music, Michael Brazell. Use libraries. Audioblocksfreesound.org. Dang it, dude. Oh, sound effects. There wasn't many options, though. I don't think. Thank you for playing this game. I guess it depends on what I do in the therapy, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Yo. Good to see that you're doing fine. As you can see, I'm very fucked. Ah, <sighs> what a waste. They didn't even finish my intestines. But it's okay, this does not need to happen to you. Thing is, Albert seems to be using dream therapy as a way to find a certain type of people. So maybe get all the questions right? DSB impossible, don't question him? Maybe that way you can save yourself from getting the same fate I do. Why don't you go ahead and try and find it? Bro, the, how can I get the cup in the ball one correct? That one's so fast. Unless it's like... There's no autosave. Skip. No, Taylor. It's incredibly rude to skip all our conversation. Yeah, okay. We don't get a skip while oh, you suck. Auto. Fast auto. Damn it, dude. Okay. So there's no skip. Screw you, Dr. Dickhead. Okay, we gotta get everything right. Oh, gosh. Wait a second. Oh, 
Oh, some of that did change. So he asked when I got to the math, he was like, <laughs> can I save? And she's like, no. Sometimes I get a little bit nervous that I can get the question wrong. But that way it won't reflect, it wouldn't be a true reflection of my ability, don't you think? Hmm, do you, you do have a point. Then how about this? I will save for you once before each section starts. But you will only be able to load before the section finishes. Once it's beyond that point, you can no longer come back and redo the questions. You will see the load button under the text box. Does that sound good? Fair enough. Alright, let's get started. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Trebian, Trebian. So it did change. That's kind of neat. Magnificent. Magnificent. Okay, so we gotta get everything right. And then there should be another ending as well, so we'll look for that too. Excellent job! Impressive. I'm gonna need this for the dang cup. Oops, my apologies. What the hell? What was that blood? No, nah, we've already got that. I'm only gonna read the parts that are different. Now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Wonderful job, Taylor. You got all of them correct. You must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. Okay. Much better. Otherwise, all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. Yeah, I already did that. How did I know he was from G2? She's aware of what we did last time. That's neat. I like that. Alright. Alright, break's over. Let's move on to the next section of our therapy, shall we? Um, okay. For this section, we're going to play a game. Very classic one. It's called the Shell Game. Have you heard of that? The Shell Game? No, not really. It is more commonly known as Cup and Balls. Oh, that. I suck at that game. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Um, whatever you say. Love the enthusiasm. Wait, I don't get a load for this one? As you can see, I have three cups over here. And in one of them, I will be placing a... Hmm. Pardon me, but it doesn't seem that we have any ball. But it seems that we don't have any balls here. Let me go get one. Bring the load back. I need the load for this part. I didn't need it for the math. <laughs> God. Give me the load. Just what the hell is going on? What? What the fuck was that? Alright. Bring back the load. Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. What the hell happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? The scream. What scream? This is a waste of time. Shall we proceed with the therapy? As you can see, I have three cups over here. And one of them, I will be placing a ball under it. What the fuck, man? That's not a ball. That's a freaking eyeball. An eyeball is a ball. It is a sphere. You know that's not what I meant. Where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Bullshit. That's what the scream was about, wasn't it? Anyways, I will be shifting these three cups around. And you will tell me which one you think has a ball. Is that clear? Answer my question. Perfect. Here we go. All those back. Thank God. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Alright, I'm gonna get my eyes trained up. Magnificent! Travian, Travian! I can't believe it. Nicely done. Yeah, 
guess. Okay. Too fast, too furious on me, boys. Yes! Impressive! What the fuck? Magnificent! We got it! Yes! Impressive job, Taylor. You spotted all of them. Uh, I don't know what to do for the Warshack test, though. Let's take another break, shall we? Sure. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. Yeah, is there a right answer for the Rorschach test, though? That's the question. Pardon me. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? Hmm, another problem? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan, am I correct? William, I will kindly ask you not to dismember her. I'd prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving into that. Now please excuse me, I'm with a patient at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Um, okay, that's good to know. By the way, what was... your last name was Kruger, right? That is correct. Just kinda curious, does that mean you're the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created this company. All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes, it is part of my destiny. Do you miss G4? Maybe, maybe not. G4 was a nice place. I'd say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Eh, sure. This section is a bit different. It's not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better. Or as I ha I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. The gateway to my heart? Yes. I will be asking you a series of questions and I'd like you to answer them honestly. Huh? What kind of questions? All kind of questions. Questions that are about you. Nah, I'll pass. It is an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know. I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Hmm, well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you, I'll tell you something about me in return. Hmm, that's tempting. But how do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is extremely important between a patient and their therapist. It is essential for the work to go as far as it needs to. Okay, fine, whatever. Excellent, however... I do have one request. You'll have to close your eyes for this section. And no matter what happens, you you can't open your eyes till I tell you to do so. Can I trust you on that? Yeah, I'm worried about the Rorschach part for the final test. Like this? Yes, perfect. My first question is, what was it like growing up with your family? Hmm, nothing extraordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunities. I had two siblings, and we used to live all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole, it was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both my parents were well-known figures in the medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is I was the only child. Damn, that must be nice. Getting all the love and attention? That's different. I guess you could say so. No. My second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in schools, but I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to. And my family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That is good. It is important to have friends and families that support you. Well, what about you? Do you have people connected to... You feel connected to the people around you? I couldn't read. Do you feel connected to the people around you? Of course. 
I feel deeply connected to all my patients. They all mean a lot to me. I guess that's very professional of you. But what about your family or your friends? Is there really no one else that you feel connected to besides your patients? What the hell were all those noises? Should I open my eyes now? Next question. If you could wave a magic wand, wand, what positive changes would you make in your life happen in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. It is always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you like to change? Hmm. I guess the world could have less mediocre people. Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Something feels off. And what is this weird guitar sound? Doubt my eyes? Last question. Have you ever had the urge to murder someone in your life? Or maybe just remember them, chop them into pieces, and make them into hamburger? Ex excuse me? Of course not. That's, this is messed up. Have, have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no. That's, that's not... I'm feeling really uneasy. Should I open my eyes? No. Thank you for your cooperation, Taylor. You are now free to reopen your eyes. Nice. Shall we take another short break? Let me make the music louder. Why do you have to make the music louder? I do love that the game, like, the more you play it, the characters are, like, aware. The game's self-aware, I like that. Kinda like Doki Doki Literature Club or Undertale. Um, do you hear that? I'm the best. Me too. <sighs> My apologies for such an unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now, if you would excuse me, I will go handle that. Why don't you watch some videos at the meantime? Um, okay. I'll put on some videos. Albert? Yes? Please don't kill him. <laughs> of course I won't. Who do you think I am? I'll be back soon. We'll be right back after this important message. Oh, this is different. Kuru Corporation! Oh, y'all really need to update this one. This one might be older than the last one. What's that like Jason looking dude in the background? Gary. I'm the best! I'm the best. I like that guy better than this. Subliminal messages. I'm the best. I'm the best. We'll be right back. Our TV is broken. <laughs> Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. What? What the hell was that video? It was a commercial for other company. No, it was not. <laughs> it was something way fucked up than that. Hmm. I apologies, I might have put in the wrong video. Anyways, are we ready for the next round of therapy? This section is going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Have you by any chance heard of the Rorschach test, Taylor? The Rorschach test? Isn't that the thing where they show you a picture and ask you what you would see? That is correct. It is a psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder. Examine a person's personality characteristics and emotional functioning. So, for this section, I will be showing you a series of inkblots, and you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? Yeah, crystal clear. God, I don't want to do this part. Alright, here we go. I don't know what the right answer is. That's... Not a rabbit. Probably not an elephant. Could be... I don't know what that is. Robot. Is that what you see? Uh, that. Hmm, okay. Quite the imagination. Interesting. Very, very interesting.
Is that what you see? I don't know if I'm gonna these right or not. I'd say that's a monster. Oh, quite the imagination. Interesting choice. Quite the imagination. Really cool. Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. Hopefully I got them right. Well, hopefully that part, did, you don't have to get them right, because that's... I don't know. Well done, Taylor. Well done. I am so proud of you. I hate to say this, but we're getting close to the end of our therapy. I just want to say I really enjoyed speaking with you, and I really appreciate that you chose Kruger Corporation. Um, I actually didn't, but no worries. It was also a very, a very interesting session for me. I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. That means a lot to me. May I ask you what's your favorite section of the therapy? Favorite section? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm so glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? That would mean a lot to me. Sure. Yeah, you're the best, man. Thanks a lot. That was a big help. Before I let you go, can I have one last request? Please don't give me the same ending. Sure, what is it? Will you become a dream eater? Oh, good. Uh, huh? What is a dream eater? They are my servants. Very, very loyal servants. They all used to be good kids, just like you. Congratulations, Taylor. You should feel proud. But, but I don't want to. It is only because of the dream therapy that I get to know wonderful people like you. We need you to build a better future of G2 District. We need you to join the army. Oh, well, damn. How did I get the last ending? <laughs> I have no idea. Thank you for your contri contribution to the G2 District. Bad end true? Question mark? Is there a good end? <laughs> what the hell? Ending two out of three. Hopefully it gives me another hint how to get the last ending, because that one... I could guess that that one was supposed to be like, get all the answer choices right, but I couldn't... I have no idea what the last one is. I do like this game, though. I didn't, uh... I'm glad that, like, she picked up on what happened the last time we played, like, that the game's actually, like, continuing on. It's not just, like, a new playthrough where I'm just trying to get the endings. My first choices mattered, kinda. Give me another hint, please. Dream Eater me. Say something. Anything. Help me. Well, damn it. That did not help at all. Uh, the game got all glitched out, but... Okay. Ellie, Taylor Lee. Dr. Kruger is waiting for you at room 105. I'll be right there. Maybe if I get all the answers wrong this time, that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's try that. I close my eyes, then I drift away. Into the magic night, I softly say. This is different. A silent prayer like dreamers do. Then I fall asleep to my dreams, my dreams of you. In dreams, I walk with you. In dreams, I talk to you. In dreams, you're mine. All of the time. What is this rhyme? <laughs> in dreams, you're mine all of the time. Is this a song? We're together in dreams, in dreams. That was different. I'm gonna get all of them wrong this time. Hmm. Have I been here before? Where, where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health Solution Corporation. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical groups in G2 District, delivering more than one million patient visits each year. I am Dr. Albert Ger Gerald Kruger, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. What? I'm not sick. What the hell is a dream therapy? That sounds like a, such a scam. Do not be afraid, my child. I'll have you know that I am a professional, and I have a PhD in marine biology. Do I look like a dolphin to you? No, if I have to say, you resemble a jellyfish more. That's different. Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. What is your name, my child? Taylor Lee. Age? 19. Preferred pronouns? They slash them. 
What brings you here today, and what are your symptoms? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I said I'm not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with a sanity check? You enjoy math, Taylor? Not particularly. Perfect, then let's start with some simple math. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question, and you'll need to choose the correct answer. From the four cards I provide you. Does that sound good? Whatever. We're gonna get them all wrong this time. Alright, let's get started. Nine! You must be talented at something else. Nine divided by one. Ah, six! Not quite, but I appreciate the effort. Seven. Interesting choice. Next time, possibly. <laughs> Psych. Try a little harder. Seven. Try a little harder. Interesting choice. Po next time, possibly. Not quite, but I appreciate the effort. Not quite, but I appreciate the effort. Interesting choice. It's harder to pick the wrong answers than to pick the right one. Next time, possibly. Oops, my apologies. What the hell? What was that blood? No, it wasn't. That most definitely was. No, it wasn't. Now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. Just try a little harder. Next time you'll get it. This isn't your strong suit, is it? I mean, I said it wasn't. You must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. Why don't we take a short little break? Um, sure. Let me turn up the music. Oh, such a fatty jam. Much better. So how's it going? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything alright? Eh, uh, I'm a bit confused, but otherwise all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. You a college student? Yeah. Sweet, are you from G2? Yeah, I've been living here my whole life. You're from G2 as well, right? I could kinda tell. Yes, indeed I am. However, I did not attend college here. I was, went to G4 for my post-secondary education. Oh, RMU? Yes. That's a pretty dope school. Thank you. How did I know he was from G2? Da 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 da. Hmm. Alright, break's over. Let's move on to the next section of our therapy, shall we? Um, okay. For this section, we're gonna play a game. A very classic one. It's called the Shell Game. You heard of that? The Shell Game? You mean cups and balls? <laughs> yes, that is correct. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Um, whatever you say. Love the enthusiasm. As you can see, I have three cups here. And in one of them, I will be placing a... Hmm, pardon me. But it seems that we don't have any balls here. Let me go get one. Oh, my shoulders kill me. Why? Stroke. Stroke. Just what in the hell is going on? Why do I feel like I've been through this so many times? Because we have. Because we have. <coughs> what? What the fuck was that? Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. What the hell happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? The scream. What scream? This is a waste of time. Shall we proceed with the therapy? As you can see, I have three cups over here. And in one of them, I will be placing a ball under it. What the fuck, man? That's not a ball. That's a freaking eyeball. An eyeball is a ball. It is a sphere. You know that's not what I meant. What the hell? Where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Bullshit. This what was what the screaming was about, wasn't it? Anyways, I will be shifting those three cups around, and you will tell me which one you think has a ball. Is that clear? Answer my question. Perfect. Here we go. 
not quite, but I appreciate the effort. The correct answer is ta-da! Let's try again. Interesting choice. Next time, possibly. The correct answer is ta-da! Try again. That's a pity, you were so close. The correct answer is, I was not even close. Ta-da! Let's try again. Just try a little harder, next time you'll get it. The correct answer is, ta-da! Try again. You almost got it. The correct answer is, ta-da! Let's try again. I'll hail. Shit! You got me. You got me! <laughs> when you're trying to miss it and you get it on accident, that feels so bad. That's how good he is on that last one. That last one's rough, bro. Try a little harder next time you'll get it. The correct answer is ta-da! Oh, I see that was a bit too difficult for you. But no need to worry, it's not a big deal. Let's take another break, shall we? Here. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. Bling bling. Where'd that phone come from? Pardon me. Albert Kruger speaking, how may I help you? Hmm, another problem? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan, am I correct? William, I will kindly ask you not to dismember her. I prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving it to that. Now please excuse me, I'm with a patient at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Um, okay. That's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger, right? That is correct. It was kind of curious. Does that mean you're the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created this company. All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes, it is part of my destiny. Do you miss G4? Maybe, maybe not. G4 was a nice place. I would totally visit there again at some point. I say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Eh, sure. This section is a bit different. It is not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better. Or as I lie, you usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. The gateway to my heart? Yeah, so I will be asking you a series of questions that I'd like you to answer them honestly. Huh? What kind of questions? All kinds of questions. Questions that are about you. Nah, I'll pass. It is an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know. I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Hmm, well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me about something about you, I'll tell you something about me in return. Hmm, that's tempting. But how do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is an extremely important part but, but important between a patient and their therapist. It is essential for the work to go as far as it needs to. Okay, fine, whatever. Excellent, however, I do need have one request. You don't have to close your eyes for this section. And no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes till I tell you to do so. Can I trust you on that? Alright, we open our eyes every time this time. Like this? Yes, perfect. My first question is, what was it like growing up with your family? Okay, unless something changes. Well, it will change, so I need to read it. I had two siblings, and we used to li all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes it gets a bit annoying, but as a whole, it was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both of my parents were well-known figures in the medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is I was the only child. 
Damn, that must be nice, getting all the love and attention. Oh, I guess you could say so, but sometimes it gets a little lonely. See, that's different. Oh, I, I see. Did I open my eyes? Yes. Why did you open your eyes, Taylor? I don't trust you, bro. My second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in schools, but I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to. My family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That's good. It is important to have friends and families that support you. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? Of course. I feel deeply connected to all my patients. They mean, all mean a lot to me. I guess that's very professional of you. But what about your family or your friends? Is there really no one else that you feel connected to besides your patients? What the hell were all those noises? Should I open my eyes? Yes. What's up, dog? Is there anything wrong, Taylor? No, nothing. Next question. If you could wave a magic wand, what positive changes would you make in your happen in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. It is always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? Hmm. I guess the world could have a lot less mediocre people. Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Something feels off. And what is this weird guitar sound? Shall I open my eyes? Yes. Up there. What the fuck was that? Taylor, I would kindly ask you to refrain from using such words. No, but what the actual fuck was that thing? I unfortunately have no clue what you're referring to. It seems to me that you could be overstressed and thus had some form of pollution. No, I swear to God. Do me a favor, will you, Taylor? Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. You just can't with this dude, huh? Last question. Have you ever had the urge to murder someone in your life? Or maybe dismember them, chop them into pieces, and make them into a hamburger? Ex excuse me? Of course not. This is messed up. Have, have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no. That's... that's not... I'm feeling really uneasy. Shall I open my eyes? Yes. Ah, uh, we'll be right back with another important message from our sponsor. Kruger Corporation. My apologies, Taylor. I was getting too excited to hear your answers. That came a bit too close. I wouldn't call that a bit too close, but whatever. Shall we take another short break? Let me to make the music louder. Here comes this. I'm the best! I'm the best. Oh, my apologies for such an ex unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now, if you would excuse me, I'll go ahead to that. Why don't you watch some videos in the meantime? Um, okay. I'll put on some videos. Albert? Yes? Please don't kill him. <laughs> of course I won't. Who do you think I am? Some kind of mad sadistic doctor? I'll be back soon. Yes, that is who I think you are. Let's see what video we get this time. Oh, look at this jam, boy. <laughs> this is lit. I like this better than the second one. Hey, turn up. Liddy 350 up in here with the skeletons, boy. I'm grooving. Hey. Aw, that was a short video. I like that one the best, I think. Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. What was that video all about? Dancing skeletons, did you not enjoy it? Eh, I guess it was cute. Did things get resolved with that guy? Yes, resolved peacefully. That's, that's good. Are we ready for the next round of therapy? Yeah, sure. This section is going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Have you by any chance heard the Rorschach test, Taylor? The Rorschach test? Isn't that the thing where they show a picture and ask what you see? Well, that is correct. It is a psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder. 
They examine a person's personality, characteristics, and emotional functioning. So for this section, I will be showing you a series of inkblots. You will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? I always want to do what's on the back of those inkblots. Yeah, crystal clear. Alright, here we go. Can't turn- Oh, look at that. Why did you flip the paler per teller? <laughs> Is there anything wrong, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper? Is there anything wrong, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper? I would kindly ask you not to do that, Taylor. Why did you flip the paper, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper, Taylor? Alright, maybe I gotta answer and flip all the papers. Is there anything wrong, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper? Okay. One more, one more, and then we'll answer it. Okay. Quite the imagination. Is there anything wrong, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper? Really cool. I kindly ask you not to do that, Taylor. Really cool. Why did you flip the paper, Taylor? <laughs> I wanted to, bro. Fascinating choice. Why did you flip the paper, Taylor? Fascinating choice. Is there anything wrong, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper? Quite the imagination. Is there anything wrong, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper? I would be mad if I had to flip the paper so many times or something. Why did you flip the paper, Taylor? Interesting choice. Oh, look at that. Who's that? Is that him? Damn, cool drawing you got there. Didn't know that you were an artist as well. Who is that? Da -da 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 -da. Why did you do that, Taylor? That wasn't very nice. Huh? Do what? I'm quite confident that you know exactly what I'm referring to. Um, why did the background music suddenly change? Oh, baby! Huh, huh. Well, damn. Did I open the game again? Son of a bitch! <laughs> Is that the third ending? Do I have to play through it all the way again? Oh, boy, wouldn't that be freaking tragic, though? Is that the third ending? Does it save my progress, or is it going to act like it's a brand new game? Okay. What? What the hell just happened? I apologize for my sudden outburst, Taylor. That was very rude of me. Um, don't worry about it. As an apology, I will answer your question. That was a classmate of mine from college. Oh, were you guys friends? Is that why you were drawing him? You guys look kind of similar as well. In fact, it is quite the opposite. We were arch enemies. Arch enemies? Why was that? No specific reason. Probably because we looked similar and were both very competent, competent people. So we love people love to compare. Excuse me. People love to compare us to one each other. I was the best student in class. He was the second. He always tried very hard to beat me in school. But he never succeeded. Did you like him? I guess you could say I admired and despised him at the same time. He had a lot of potential to be better than me. Yet, I witnessed him letting them go to waste. You enjoyed feeling superior to him, didn't you? Am I the therapist now? Roll reversal! I wouldn't put it that way. Then let me put it this way. You enjoyed the fact that he always saw you as his goal. And you felt amazing because of that. You miss him, don't you? And all your friends from G4. That is absurd, Taylor. Bullshit, or why else would you draw him? I know artists only draw things they like. It must be hard going to a foreign district by yourself to pursue education. 
But what's even harder is, you have to say goodbye to all your friends after graduation. Why don't you give them a call sometime? I'll think about it. Aw. Sorry to say this, but it looks like we're at- I'll have to end our therapy early, Taylor. Oh, that's fine. I just want to say, I really enjoyed speaking to you. And it's been a while since I met someone like you, Taylor. Someone like me? Yes, rebellious, full of energy, no fear in your heart. But most importantly, you tried very hard to give me a hard time. Um, I guess I'm flattered. I hope we can become friends. Maybe we can write letters to each other. People don't write letters anymore. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> That's a shame. I guess I'll just have to figure out some other way. Before I let you go, can I have one last request? Sure, what is it? Would you mind filling out this post-therapy? Forget about it. Goodbye, Taylor. I hope we can stay in touch. Uh. Huh? This is my desktop. Was that just a dream? Good ending. What's this text file on my lap desktop? He's wrote us a letter in the text file. Good and true. Hey, we did it! We got all the endings. I love this game. It reminded me a lot of Undertale and how you play through it multiple times to get the different endings. The payoff at the end was super awesome as well. This was an amazing game. Like, this was actually super good. I didn't expect it to be this good. I'm so glad that, like, oh, it's so self-aware and, like, the jump scares were... That one kind of got me. One of them did get me. I can't remember which one it was, but it got my heart racing a little bit. That was a good game. That was a really good game. I dig that. You can tell the creator put a ton of work into it, and I love when, like, the game can keep up with your progress and work off it. That's so sick. Great game. Uh-oh, phone call. Is he calling his college friends? Hello? Oh, he is. It's been a while, Vincent. Aw, therapy with Dr. Kruger. Dear Taylor, how are you doing? I called my arch enemy today. He seems to be doing fine. Would you like to meet up sometime? I have a cool therapy idea to show you. All the best, Dr. Kruger. That's amazing. I love this game. That was so good. I became the therapist. Okay, let's give them all the props that they deserve. Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger, version 1.00. Solo developed by Dino9999Z. Twitter at Dino9999Z. Other contributors. Harmless. Parentheses music. Michael Brazal. Uh, parentheses ad narration. Narration. Oh, I like those. Of the ads. Use libraries. Audio blocks. Freesound.org. Sound E. S E. Extra gamer. Failure. Marathon. Rabura. Sapphire. <laughs> Repair gnome. Cinemax. Baby Cole. Thank you for playing the game. Thank you for making the game. That was awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and check this game out if you want to. It was a cool game. Support the creator at least. You can click the link. You can rate his game. It's five stars. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!